Hi and welcome to another recipe on Rob Kennedy cooking. It's great to be here on a lovely weekend and what a better thing to do on a weekend than is to have a great roast. Now I love a roast and also I like a stroganoff. So for this recipe I'm going to combine the two using this wonderful quality British ribeye. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself some great ribeye. This is about a 500 gram piece. It's been tied twice in the middle so it's a lovely little joint to use for a simple roast for, for two or three people. Ask your butcher to do this for you. We've got to work very closely with our butchers and our farmers so it'd be great to get this booked in and, and prepared for you. So all you've got to do is pay and collect. Um, what you need to do is get some oil and pop that into a hot pan. What we're going to do is just colour this lovely piece of ribeye in that hot pan. There we go. And we'll just pop that down now. Now this will just start cooking and sizzling and caramelising and that's what you want. It's going to make your house smell really wicked as well. So we're just going to move that around and you'll be able to see that colouring lovely. And also in the pan, what we're going to do to keep it quite traditional is get some nice roast vegetables on the go. So I've got some peeled potatoes that I've just chopped up so we can pop them into the pan as well. Also I've got um, a peeled and sliced onion so we can pop them in. Some garlic, so I really like garlic as well. So about two cloves of garlic. So believe it or not, it's just one potato, one onion, four garlic and one carrot. So we can get all that in as well. We'll now season just with a little bit of salt. Now cooking with fresh herbs is great, but I've had an opportunity to get out. So in my cupboards, which I'm sure hopefully a lot of you've got at home, I've got some thyme and some rosemary. So we're just gonna flavor the roasting pan with some rosemary and a little bit of thyme. And then what we're going to do is just move this piece around and you can see the caramelization there. And just move that veg around as well because what you'll be able to see is your vegetables caramelizing and going lovely and roasted, which is what you want. You can then put our piece flat and get that caramelization going. Keep moving it all around. If you're cooking for a, a larger number of people, then you can just simply do it in a bigger pan and then trans, um, tra transform it into a bigger kind of baking tray and then you just pop that in the oven. Once we've sealed the other side of this, you can see there the idea is that you've kept all of that caramelization inside that lovely piece of ribeye. We're going to just lift it ever so slightly and then pop it on top of that vegetable. Then that's going to go into an oven for medium, medium to rare, so just there's still a little bit flush in the middle, for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. And what you need to do is halfway through cooking is get your beef and then flip it over so basically the juices you know, continue to run through that lovely piece of, piece of meat. So in the oven this goes now. Goodbye, hit heat off. Just quickly wash my hands and then we're going to get back to the actual finished result. So I've cooked some earlier, it's been in the oven for 30 minutes, it's come out and it's rested and the most important thing is to rest that beef so it relaxes. Now I've been resting the beef for around about 15 minutes so it should be really nice. It's just behind me here, so we've got our pan of our beef. And all you need to do in this simple recipe is take your beef out and then just rest it and take out the potatoes and the carrots and pop them onto another tray so they're ready just to warm back through the oven, which we'll do now. Okay, the beef can just rest. We'll pop the beef down there so you can see it. And in here, now, we've just got onions and garlic. Now with that, we're going to make a lovely stroganoff sauce because them onions and then garlic it's all got that beefy flavour so why not waste it keep it in the same pan plus 
It's a one pan dish. No washing up, which is uh, what I tend to like. So let's pop this back on the heat. And you'll start to smell it now. It'll be absolutely delicious. You put your beef here in front of you. And what we're going to do then is add a little bit of beef stock. We've got some sliced up mushrooms. Some double cream. A little bit of butter. A squeeze of lemon. And then this is the little bit, the secret, the smokiness. It's smoked paprika. Really, really good. Easy to get hold of. And it kind of really brings a nice flavour to this particular dish. So I'm going to change this kind of classic roast into one of my favourites. As I said earlier, the stroganoff. So once it starts to starts to reduce, what you need to do is get some mushrooms in there. Because that in that pan is just beef juices, onions and garlic. Pop your mushrooms in there. And now what you want to do is just add some of your beef stock, which is slightly warmed. If you don't have beef stock, you know, just add a little bit of gravy. It's just a bit of sauce to bring them flavors together. So just add a little bit of beef stock. Yeah, just slightly warm the beef soft stock as well, so you're doing kind of hot on hot. Get that moving around. The mushrooms are sliced really thinly, so there's not a lot of cooking that's needed. Next, what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of butter, our paprika, and then a nice glug of the cream, and we'll just stir that in. There we go, and just let that tip over. And that is the basis of our stroganoff sauce. Pop our spoon on there for a minute. Now this piece of lemon, I always use lemon when I cook with cream because it kind of tightens it. The acidity works really well with the cream. It has an amazing flavour. So beef, smoky paprika, mushrooms, lemon, really, really delicious. Okay, well, I think we're ready to plate up, so let's go for it. We'll just get our carrots and our potatoes out of the oven so they can just sit here. Our beef now we're going to slice, and what I've done is I've just removed the two pieces of string and we're going to kind of cut it straight in the middle. There we go, and just open that up. You can see that now, that's cooked lovely medium to rare for that 30 minutes. You've got a nice piece of fat there in the middle as well. When it comes to the plate itself, we just pop a plate down or put it all on a big tray and just put it in the middle of the table and let everyone enjoy it. It'd be fantastic. Get your potatoes. Bring them potatoes onto the plate with a few of your lovely carrots. And remember, these have cooked underneath that beef. So we've got 100% beef flavour here. And then we'll get our nice piece of ribeye there and then this this sauce where oh, just these mushrooms just pop them a few onto the beef there and then use the rest as like a gravy so just you know put it wherever you want and this is your stroganoff sauce which for me is wonderful and for that is my beef stroganoff but as a roast dinner. I'm going to come around and get a camera shot. There we go. Have that this weekend. Really enjoy the beef, the carrots, the potatoes. Delicious. Get your favourite dishes on a plate and have a great time cooking.